Alright, this is Luis oh, Sandoval, yeah, FightHype.com, here with Brandon Rios. I haven't talked to you, man, since I heard, but... Victor Ortiz finally called you out, man. Uh, yeah, that fight's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, it's about time. Uh, I'm very excited. And I know he's excited. I know he's working out, very working out really hard right now. Uh, so, we're working out really hard. He's gonna come in the best shape that he can come in. I'm gonna come in the best shape that I can come in. And it's gonna be an interesting fight because he don't want to lose to me, I don't want to lose to him. So it's going to be a really interesting fight. Have you ever had a fight this personal before, Brandon, or is this going to be the first time you go in there with... I never had a really personal fight, you know, but this is going to be the first one that... Like, I have talked shit in fights, you know, like, and stuff like that happens. But this one's like, really, there's really beef between us, you know, it's not fake shit. We really hate each other. And it's going to be one of those fights that's going to be exciting. The, does the beef end after this? You guys settle it in the ring and then afterwards it's, it's over? Gonna, or? We're gonna settle in the ring and then after this, you do your thing, I do my thing. So you, you guys will never be cool again? I'm not. I'm gonna be walking away. I don't give a fuck. If he wants to be cool, he can be cool with somebody else, but I'm not gonna talk shit no more. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not gonna. If I see a child, I'm not gonna shake his hand. We're gonna walk, look the other way, you know what I mean? Fuck you, you fuck me, you know, fuck you, you fuck, fuck me, and that's it. Fuck it, and we walk the other way. Brandon, for a long time, everybody's wanted this fight. But even I, myself, I was thinking on the way over here, I forgot, how did, how did this all, where did it start from, and why did it get to this point? It just started from, you know, just some shit. It started since, uh, when I first came down here, that's when it started, when I came down here. So, we just leave it at that. So, he knows why, I know why, but I don't want to say anything. So the beef is real, and we just leave it from it there. You guys did get in, growing up, you guys did get in the ring, you guys did get into... We, 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 we fought in amateurs, and we did used to spar. We fought in amateurs, and then we fought one time in amateur, and we sparred in amateur. Uh, not in amateur, yeah, we did a lot of sparring, and uh, that was it. But never sparred when I was a professional. When I first came to California, yeah. I think I sparred him once, that was it. Actually, one time, that's it. When I came, when was the Colonia? Long time ago. You still remember it? Like what? how it went? No, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember it. But I remember we sparred, but I don't remember how the outcome went. But I know when we were amateurs, and back home, I used to make a cry all the time in sparring. His dad used to get mad at him, and I used to make a cry. His dad was like, nope. Fuck you, you gotta do it. Man up, man up. You know, I remember that. I remember that. I remember him crying a lot this morning. Would you, would he, would he be crying because of the pain or because he was frustrated with it or? I couldn't say. I couldn't say. I don't know. All I remember him was crying when I used to spar him. And I was not gonna stop. And take it easy, fuck no, that wasn't my thing. You know, I never been easy. You guy. always told me that you never take it easy. I never take it easy on the ring because uh, the other guy can fuck me up. So you know, I never, I never have took it easy. Since even in now, that's why I told Rick never come in with guys that uh, it's gonna get dropped hard because I won't take it easy. Because you're gonna get mad at me, and I want that to happen. So Brandon, how, how important is this fight for you, man? I mean, because I know you want to get it, but just how important is this for you this, 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 to, this, to get this victory? This fight is very important because the fact that the the beef that we have with each other, you know what I mean? The shit that we have with each other, that's why it's very important for myself as, as well. As, and I'm really, I want to get back to the top again. I'm very serious about the second half of my career. And I'm doing everything right, and I, I really do want to get back to the top, and I really want to bef give it a last go before my ending of my career, so I can, when I do retire, I don't have that that fucking grudge or that doubt like, oh, man, I could have done better. I don't want to be that if the guy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that if guy. So that's why. Was there a point where you thought this fight wasn't gonna happen, where you kind of said, ah, you know what? Nah. Uh, or did you kind of always know in the back of your head, eventually, at some point? Honestly, I really thought this fight was never gonna happen. I thought I was just gonna retire, he's gonna retire, we're gonna be like, fuck it, the fight didn't ever happen. So, you know, I really did. But once uh, I became a free agent, uh, once I became a free agent, I, I was like, I wanna, I wanna look for this fight. I wanna go after this fight. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm sitting down, talking to him, and so I go after this fight.